Hello. Yesterday, I attempted best time to buy and sell stocks. My solution was this one. Um, and yeah, not it, it was quadratic time complexity. Uh, anytime, anytime you have nested for loops, it's quadratic. My solution involved calculating the profits from the possible combinations and any time we had a profit that was greater than or equal to zero it was pushed onto an array so my array and then I passed in the array to max profit using the math.max function to determine the greatest profit possible out of all the possible combinations and then I returned it I returned it on the condition that it was populated so if it was not populated with anything meaning there were no profit uh, there were no combinations where profit was possible I would return zero you cannot return max profit um, if you passed in max profit um, if you passed in an empty array to math dot max math max profit would be negative infinity so to determine uh, the case where it's zero you would just return my array dot length and so this was my solution uh, here is the linear time complexity solution we also have two pointers for buy and sell you can see here I had I and J so uh, similar concept except this one does not um, have nested for loops. In fact, it only has a it has while sell is less than prices dot length. So over here, um, I and J while J is less than prices dot length. J is the equivalent of sell. Um, then sell will be incremented. So we're moving the sell pointer. And we know we want to sell it higher than we bought it. So we want to buy low and sell high. So while buy is less than sell, so um, a profit is possible, we can calculate a profit. And then we can determine the max profit. So if you've done a similar problem before, you can see kind of something familiar to you max profit it's either going to be the current max profit or the one you just calculated and um, after that um, if no profit is possible we're gonna move the pointer for buying to where the pointer for selling is and uh, then sell will be incremented once again so it keeps moving along so for example seven if we look at seven um, and we go we have another pointer for sell um, at one nope and then we have another pointer for one you can see that buy is not less than sell and so we want to move buy to the position that sell is in so we'll move sell here and then from there we can determine profits so um, 5 minus 1, 3 minus 1, 6 minus 1, 4 minus 1. 
and each time we're updating with either or max profit or profit. Um, so this is the linear time complexity gold standard. Beautiful. It's what you want. It's the good stuff. Don't do this. Don't do this. Do this. Okay, have a nice day, everyone.